is responsible. That's what you, our viewers, and even we want to know in the death of little Jordan Beliveau. We know he had a foster family willing to love for and care for him, and now he's dead. Police say at the hands of his birth mother. Ryan Hughes joins us now live in the studio. And Ryan, there's more paperwork here to comb through, but we're learning a lot. Good morning to you both. This paperwork shows it was the decision of a judge and a magistrate to take Jordan from his foster family and put him with his mother. Now we know a guardian ad litem objected to that. It on your side got a hold of confidential records that show the objection. A worker argued there's no documentation regarding the mother's counseling. Back in May, Circuit Judge Kimberly Todd went along with the magistrate's recommendation to return Jordan to his mom despite a history of drug use, criminal activity, and a general lack of understanding of safety for children. Paperwork shows that Cherise Stinson was jumped by someone and had a gun pointed at her while pregnant. In 2016, it was decided to put Jordan in a foster home due to Stinson's erratic actions. A child protection investigator wrote in 2017 that Jordan shouldn't be allowed to live with Stinson because she was still involved in gang activity, which was the reason for their involvement in the first place. His foster family heartbroken and outraged. Jordan was failed by the system. He was failed by many people who would have protected him but didn't. Promises that were made to us about how he would be protected after his return were broken. And right now, Stinson is in jail, charged with aggravated child abuse and first-degree murder, and she's pregnant. The story getting worse and worse by the day. Back to you. All right. Thank